At MITRE, innovation is key to solving problems better and faster. That's why we made the MITRE Innovation Toolkit, a hand-picked collection of proven tools and methods that help you and your team be more innovative. The toolkit helps teams think creatively, frame problems, build consensus, and ask the right questions so they can create the right solutions. The Innovation Toolkit features lightweight, low-cost, high-impact approaches that are publicly available on our website at itk.mitre.org. Here, you can find dozens of different tools designed for various stages of the innovation process. For each tool, the high-level innovation objective is listed at the top of the page, followed by the tool title and a brief description of its purpose. You can read about when to use the tool, why the tool is helpful, and step-by-step -step instructions on how to use it. Most tools also include a worksheet-style template that you can download and print. Picking the right tool for the job can be tricky, so we created several avenues that will help you find the right one. The homepage is a great place to start. There you will find hand-picked tools that are useful for each stage of innovation. When you need an innovative idea, already have an idea, or want to identify opportunities, problems, or solutions. Another way to get started is to go to the Categories page. There you will find six key innovation objectives. Frame the problem, evaluate options, understand the user, develop a plan, generate ideas, and reduce complexity. These categories highlight tools that help you tackle each challenge. If you're having trouble picking the right tool, send us an email at itk at mitre.org. Our team is happy to help you get started with the right tools. Let's take a deeper look at some of the tools from each category. This is the Problem Framing Tool, a Canvas-style worksheet that helps teams explore a problem space, build consensus, check that they are tackling the right problem, and make a robust problem statement to rally around. The first question on the tool is, what is the problem we are trying to solve? This helps the team begin with the end in mind. Why have we not solved it? This question can help deepen the team's understanding of the situation. After teams work through these questions, the tool gives them an opportunity to redefine the problem with any additional nuances from the previous steps, then frame it in an actionable statement that identifies the needs of stakeholders and what done looks like. Share this statement with the team to communicate a unified purpose. This is the Rosebud Thorn tool, a simple framework for conducting an analysis of the positive, potential, or negative aspects of a system, product, process, you name it. Use this tool to quickly clarify different facets of the challenge, give all contributors a voice, and promote constructive discussions. First, identify the topic of analysis and pull together a diverse group of stakeholders, users, and subject matter experts. Next. Select a format that best supports collaboration in your group. You can use the worksheet or create your own rosebud thorn structure with a whiteboard, digital document, or sticky notes. Positives, strengths, or good things go in the rose column. Opportunities and things with potential go in the bud column. And weaknesses, negatives, or bad things go in the thorn column. By the end, you have a visually categorized analysis that can help your team make informed value judgments. This is a journey mapping tool. It is a human-centered tool that helps your team empathize with users and prioritize their needs by visually documenting their actions, pain points, wins, and opportunities. Before using this tool, it's important to establish the goal that the journey map will support. Base this exercise on truthful narratives and try to capture the complete story. The best way to understand a user experience is to gather information from the actual users. Collaborate with others as you begin to fill out the tool. This part of the process is often most valuable as collaborators begin to identify insights about users. Synthesize the data and create a visual representation of the user. Lastly, 
solicit feedback from stakeholders, and refine. This is the Premortem tool, a canvas that helps your team explore the future of something by imagining its complete and utter failure. It sounds like a downer, but this is a great way for teams to define success, identify risks and potential causes of failure, and develop mitigation strategies. Invite everyone to imagine it is two years in the future. Your current project, activity, or initiative has utterly failed. Describe the failure in vivid detail, exploring worst case scenarios. You don't have to answer all of the questions, but perhaps the most important question to answer is, if the only thing we do is X, it's a win. Discuss answers with the larger group. When you have described failure, listed the causes, and updated risks and goals, take the appropriate steps to mitigate or prevent future failure from occurring. This is the Lotus Blossom, a tool for structured brainstorming that pushes you to fill out every box and come up with over 70 new ideas. It is designed to facilitate divergent thinking and stimulate creativity. This activity can be done with individuals or groups. The tool template can also be enlarged for tabletop exercises. Start by filling out the central square with a problem to be solved or a theme to be examined. Brainstorm related components, solutions, or themes and put them in the boxes immediately surrounding the center box. This is considered the center blossom. Next, take the ideas from each of the color boxes and write them in the center of the surrounding blossoms. Now you can begin to propagate and build on those initial ideas. Brainstorm related components and add them to the eight boxes surrounding each of the new blossom centers. Try your best to complete all the blossoms to maximize ideas. When the exercise is complete, you will have dozens of ideas to explore. Review and determine which are viable or important to move forward with. This is the trimming tool, a reductive design method that helps you use experimentation to iteratively remove unnecessary elements from a product, process, or organization. The template walks you through the step-by-step -step process of experimenting by doing a little bit less. Before you begin the trimming process, there are a few things you need to identify. First, list all of the pieces of the current design, product, or process whatever it is you want to simplify. Second, define a strategy for knowing when to stop your trimming experiment. Third, identify a removal strategy to decide which piece to start trimming. Now that the pieces, stop strategy and removal strategy have been identified, begin the trimming process as illustrated on the template. Experiment by trimming a piece that matches your removal strategy. Does the system work without the piece? If so, discard that piece. If not, replace it. Repeat the process until the stop strategy applies. At the end of the process, you may discover that you can reduce complexity by reducing meetings or simplifying a product. Now that we've explored a handful of tools from MITRE's Innovation Toolkit, we hope you find a tool that will help you innovate on your project today.